Welcome back, everyone. Well, CES has taken over this strip, and here with a look at what's new in the tech world is our local digital consultant, Sarah Evans. Thank you so much for coming in. I always Thank love when you, you come in and you because you guys you get an up close and personal glimpse at all this stuff and how it works. Um, so what did you bring in for us today? Well, What's I new? love bringing CES to CBS and starting off yeah. is the Live All <laughs> Smart Helmet. This thing is so cool because it's really about safety and security and that was one of my themes and takeaways this year at the show. Okay. This is the BH51M Neo from Live All. It has brake warning lights that are activated with a built-in gravity acceleration sensor, which is you know a lot of big words, but very cool. Wireless left and right turn signals you can activate by this handy dandy little remote oh. and a walkie talkie feature that allows you to easily communicate with fellow cyclists and other people on the road along with Bluetooth built in speakers and all sorts of fun oh, um, wow. things that are part of it. It's okay. $169. It is already to market which many of these things are not. Okay, so we are we really are getting a first yes. glimpse at all that. Okay, so we have the helmet, and then what's the, is that a drone? Uh, so it looks like a drone. This is going <laughs> to blow your mind. This is actually a back of head attachment oh, that goes on what? your visual cortex. It uses Bluetooth to measure your brain activity, and you can control any digital interface with your visual attention. So this little thing, ooh, you can attach it to a visor or a headset um, and use something so you wouldn't need to use your hands. It is not yet to market. It'll ship in Q2 and retails for about $399. That's like back to the future, too. I know. I can't believe that. Think even... Minority Report. Yeah. Well, yeah. I can't believe that exists. OK. What else? That's OK, strange. so this is a prototype phone. You know, you hear all about phones at, at CES. And so we're actually getting something that is also not to market. It is the OnePlus Concept One. And if you're a car fan, this was actually inspi inspired by the McLaren 720S. It is the same electrochromic glass and leather used in the car. OK. And if you can see this, I'm going to hit the camera button here. The camera actually shows up once you push the the little camera app button so it's hidden and there are actual implications oh. especially for professional photography uh, and other reasons that you might want to protect the camera so this is also not to market but the technology it took to develop this is severely intense so it's a really cool thing to have access to wow and just the fact that you can have like this is kind of like Very a careful. McLaren. I know. You're like, I got a little piece of this. <laughs> Very cool. And um, what are these wrists? Well, there's yeah. one that's not here. We have B-roll because it was going to take over an hour oh. to set up. It's called the Poseidon Connected Bathroom Hub. So how cool is this? Imagine a mirror helping your kids brush their teeth better, teaching better yes. personal hygiene. It's something that doesn't live in the cloud, so your privacy is secure. Uh, there are so many implications for how this can, can really live in your personal life in the bathroom. But it's really about a connected lifestyle. Very cool. Okay, and these and I'll go quickly. This we have is a minute. Yep, NFC technology. So tap to touch for personal security and safety. If you're a cyclist, you get injured. Someone taps their phone to your band. It comes up with your emergency contacts. Oh. It alerts them, which is great. This thing is going to change the way we interact with uh, video online. So this is actually a way to get a sensation from what's happening online. Someone wears this ring to record and then okay. touches this button, and you can feel if it's hot or cold, if they're touching velcro. Crow, you actually get the same sensation. So imagine what? your favorite video celeb and you can actually experience what they're touching. Oh my gosh. Very cool. And we have one, one more. more. I've got to pull in Martine Paris, my favorite roving robot reporter of CES. She was a media trailblazer this year. She's going to tell us our three favorite robots. Okay. 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 Go for it. You can go. Okay, number one, yes. Refractions uh, Food Delivery Snowbot for the bike lane. Super cool. Number two, uh, Misty, oh, the, com the customizable robot um, from the makers of Star Wars BB-8. Number cute. three, of course, uh, Charmin's robot, <laughs> everybody's <laughs> favorite uh, toilet paper Give me robot. My toilet paper. Right, uh, <laughs> for those moments when you need toilet paper on demand. Very my top cool. Three. Can I just show your phone case? Oh, yeah, sure. How cool is that? True tech girl. All right, thank you, Martine. Thank you, as thank always, you. Sarah. I love checking out what's new. All right, Rocky, over to you.